Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video, we're going to solve this really interesting, relaxing and really great algebra question with factorial. Some students like factorial and I hope you like this question as well. So 10 factorial over 6 factorial equal to x factorial. Very tricky and relaxing algebra problem in the same way. A lot of students solve it like they maybe not a lot, maybe half of students try to find this question very easy and try to cancel this numerator and denominator. They think, okay, 10 factorial, 6, let's, let's divide it by 2, so as a result 5 factorial factorial over 3 factorial equal to x factorial, something like that. Then they express this 5 as a product, this 3 as a product. But as, you, as I want to tell you that you need, you don't need to cancel this. This is absolutely incorrect. This is very big mistake. So let's try to to express this 10, express this 6, and let's try to find our answer, because this is not our x, this is x factorial, which is really important. Okay, 10 factorial, this is a product from 1 to 10, all of you should know this. We have like 1 times 2, I just write these products at all, so 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, yeah, this is our product, and in the, our denominator we have like 6 factorial, so 1 times 2, times 3, times 4, times 5, and times 6, okay, equal to x, x factorial. Right now, let's look closely to this. I take my bread pan real quick. So this is our 6 factorial. And right here we have the same expression. So 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 until the 6. So this is our 6 factorial x as well. So the same product, we can easily cancel this product, which is absolutely great for us. So right now we still have this expression, so we have 7 times 8 times 9 times 10 equal to x, x factorial. Okay, what are we going to do with this expression? Maybe part of students multiply it and they say, okay, the answer is like 70 times 72. They try to multiply it, this is a very huge number. But this is a factorial, which is takes many goes wrong with this factorial because let's try to create factorial on the left hand side and then we will have our answer equal to x x factorial yeah how can we do this right now if let's try to express this for example 8 as 1 times 2 times 4 yeah this 8 can be written as 1 times 2 for example times 4 this 9 can be written as 3 times 3 so times 3 times 3 this 10 can be written as 2 times 5 times 2 times 5 and in the end I write this 7 so times 7 okay very important moment because right now we're going to create our order we need to find what is this factorial okay so we have one I write this one right here we cancel it from here okay we have two we cancel it I write it times two okay we have three I cancel it so times three we have four I cancel this four from here so we have times four Okay, next we have 5, so we cancel this, times 5. The next we have 6, where do we have 6? Right here, 3 times 2 equal to 6, so I can easily cancel this, so times 6. And the last times 7 equal to x factorial. And take a look closely, very interesting and important step right now. After this trick, if we express this in another way, we can easily see that this is a product from 1 to 7, which is absolutely correct if we write it as 7 factorial equal to equal to x factorial yeah and here is our answer 7 factorial x factorial and from here our x equal to 7 which is absolutely great and a lot of students get shocked with this with this answer because one part of student as i told before they divide 10 and 10 and 6 by 2 we have 5 factorial over 3 which is very bad the next part of students multiply this expression and they say okay 7 times 8 times 9 times 10, we have like maybe maybe thousands, a lot bigger than 1000, maybe 5000, maybe maybe bigger, I don't know exactly, but absolutely wrong answer. And the correct approach is to create this factorial right here, and which is which is really great. So very tricky and relaxing question. I hope you enjoy it as well. And thank you for your support. Thank you for your likes. I really appreciate it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure. I hope you understand this explanation and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for your support. I want to say thank you for a lot of subscribers who support my channel, who try to help with whatever you, you can, like likes, comment or another way to support. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures.